All righty, here we go. It is Tuesday, uh, April the 27th. We didn't cover a lot today because I promised you guys that we would work on your marketing campaigns in class. So let's go ahead and get started. So for a review, I asked the class what the difference was between a CRM system and a CEM system. So remember CRM is customer relationship management and then CEM is customer experience management. So if you remember from class, CRM is when you try to find out as much as you can about the customer, their buying habits, uh, their family, where they live, their demographics, um, whether they're married, if they have kids, and then you're documenting those details into a database. That way the next time you, can, you talk to a customer or the customer comes in contact with your brand at, at any touch point, you've got a record of all their buying history and how you can best support them. Remember, if somebody already has a service or a product, you don't want to try to sell them the exact same product or service over and over again. Also, you, you're documenting to see how often you're contacting that customer. So if I've received a phone call um, about a product today and I didn't answer, you might want to wait a few days before you try to contact me again. Also, if I'm not answering phone calls, you might want to send me a text or an email. So a CRM system is just a, a, a way to keep in contact with how many times your customer is um, seeing or coming in contact with your brand. Now CEM, customer experience management, is from the customer's viewpoint. So how does the customer feel when they come in contact with your brand? So remember this is finding out the image of your company in your customer's mind. So do they feel like that the lines are too long in your drive-through? We talked about that yesterday with Zaxby's and Chick-fil-A. Um, do they feel like that somebody needs to greet them a little bit more pleasantly at the door? How was the customer service? So you're finding out ways, whether it's verbally, by surveys, by emails, you're finding out how your customer views your company overall. So this is from your customer's viewpoint. So after we review that, <clears throat> we looked at common CRM practices. So these are things that are taught to your employees about CRM. So all employees need to be trained on your CRM system. This is one of the primary practices of customer relationship management. Your employees will not know how to run the system unless you train them on it and train them in how to use it. Now, this system empowers employees to be able to make decisions relating to your customer. So you don't want to micromanage your employees. You want to put them in charge of their own set, set of tasks and their own duties and give them the, the freedom to make those decisions. So a CRM system just helps to organize all your customer information. That way an employee feels empowered when they talk to a customer two and three and four and five times, they feel empowered to be able to help them in whatever the customer needs. It also allows customers to provide information on their own. So instead of you bombarding your customers with a bunch of contacts, a bunch of emails, a bunch of texts, a bunch of phone calls, your CRM system will give you the information so you can see how many times you're contacting these customers, what your customers are saying, whether or not to send them texts anymore, whether or not to send them in any emails and just a better, just to provide a better experience for your customer overall. Now, your, your CRM system helps you to manage target market campaigns. See if I can get that GIF going for you. It's not working. <laughs> okay, so just like what you guys are working on this week with, with Pizza Hut, a CRM system helps you to see what customers are buying, what products, so you can better advertise your, your products and services that you're offering. So with Pizza Hut, a lot of you guys have said that you're gonna create a more family-oriented atmosphere at Pizza Hut. So if you see that you know, you've got more family-oriented customers at Pizza Hut, it might be an idea to open up your, your, your location and have some tables set up with a nice, pleasant atmosphere for your families to come in and sit down and actually enjoy pizza, the Pizza Hut experience instead of them just ordering pizza and coming to pick it up. So CRM helps you to manage target market campaigns. It also helps you to manage sales leads. 
So if you've noticed that a customer has contacted your company, but maybe they haven't bought your product or service yet, it can help you to see that. And then you can better advertise your product to those clients. It also helps you to manage customer service. So if you've contacted a customer two times or three times, it helps you to see that so you can better serve them. And it also helps you to manage customer complaints. So if a customer calls in or they email you with a complaint about your product, then you document that and then you can better help your customers so they they'll be happy with your with your product and your company overall and then they'll actually talk positively about your company instead of losing losing sales so that's what we discussed today be sure to go into canvas and do your exit ticket and then the rest of the class period was used to work on your marketing campaigns i'll see you tomorrow